Hi guys, so I've recently started buying more and more single sort of box miniatures, uh, many sort of boss ones, just because I want to sort of spend more time on, well, painting one miniature, rather than doing like batch painting a big old kill team. And I was just wondering how you guys store or display your sort of like your boss figures, or do they just get put away with, well, the rest of the kill team or the rest of the, uh, the Warhammer army? Um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys do. So you might have seen in a recent video that I made up this, uh, yeah, a nice little sort of single display diorama for one miniature, which is pretty cool looking, doesn't take up a whole lot of room, and obviously the good thing is the little figure there, well, he just pops off, he's on the right size base for the figure that he is, so yeah, he can be used in, obviously, Kill Team, Warhammer Full Team, a Necromunda, AOS, whatever sort of games it is you play. So yeah, this is what I'm going to start doing with my sort of miniature figures, well, my boss ones anyway, is to make up, yeah, a little sort of display diorama like this. So I've made up a simple base to use, um, basically using the package called Tinkercad. And when I say simple, it really is a simple sort of package to use. There's not a whole lot you can do, but making simple things or cutting out shapes, that sort of thing, yeah, is very doable. So yeah, there's only a few parts to this. So we've got obviously the base, then we've got the, um, well, kind of another base that goes on top of the first base. Um, so this one, I'm going to do a variety of these. So this one's obviously a spaceship sort of interior. But the one thing I can't do is, well, the walls that are like this. So I've gone over to Fabricator's Layer. This is someone that I've um, got sort of files from before when I made my Kill Team Zone board. Um, yeah, lots of lovely things over there, guys. So go check them out. And they very kindly enough made one of the walls round for me. Um, and they also agreed for me to be able to share this with you guys. So, guys, everything I'm showing now on here, this little display case, is going to be available to download over on my Patreon page. So all these bits, um, so there's only a few bits you really sort of need to print out to make one of these. If you guys don't have a 3D printer, um, drop me a message guys, because I am looking at possibly selling these um, on their own. Uh, as well as when I do paint up my little uh, my little boss figures, I will also be uh, be selling them and they will, will come with one of these little sort of single display um, dioramas, which I think is a pretty cool way of obviously sh sort of showing off your figures. As you can see, yeah, I may have gone a little mad. I've uh, I've really printed quite a few bits off because, well, I know I'm going to be, be going to be painting lots of boss miniatures. And the other reason is, well, if I'm going to print one, I may as well print several pieces off at once. So I'm using my AnyCubic Photon Mono X2 here. Uh, as you can see, you can get quite a few bits on. So yeah, rather than just printing one of these out at a time, it makes sense to print well four, five, six, whatever I want to get on there, really. And as you saw earlier, I do have quite a lot of sort of single miniatures that I will be painting up. And yeah, I'll be using these sort of display sort of dioramas um, to house them, which is uh, pretty cool. So I will be looking at making some more designs. So guys, if there's any kind of design you want to see me make, um, as in like an orcish kind of background or Necron or whatever it might be, let me know in the comments, guys, as yeah, I want to sort of make more of these, well, single figure display dioramas. Um, and yeah, it'd be great to have your input as you guys, well, you really help the channel out a lot with all your lovely, wonderful ideas. So if you want to get your hands on the STL files for these, uh, these sort of single display dioramas, yeah, click on the link down below, guys, become a patron, as I am now starting to sort of, well, to make and produce more bits and pieces that uh, I'm going to start sharing with you guys. So yeah, all the other files can be downloaded from my patron page. And don't worry if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, I am sort of working on getting a website up and running where I'll be able to sell sort of a few bits and pieces. Um, I do currently have quite a bit few bits on eBay, uh, but one thing I have found with eBay, they do take a lot of the money. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm using it for the moment, but I am uh, hopefully going to be getting a website up and running, and I'll have some sort of shop on there where you can sort of buy bits and pieces uh, and all the rest of it. There's a video coming up on the screen, guys, that shows the uh, the miniature in the sort of full display diorama that I showed right at the beginning. Uh, big shout out and thank you to obviously all my patrons I currently have and Chaos Cards for helping support the channel. There are links down below so you can get a discount on miniatures at Chaos Cards. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, all that good stuff. See you in the next one. Bye now.